everybody, it's Bub. I'm back with my playthrough of Final Fantasy V for the Four John Fiesta. Now, uh, unfortunately, there was a little bit of an issue with the recording last time, so I had to go back and replay the ancient library. I made the save right here, so that's why the time's a little different. I also changed the little things up a little bit here. We're going to be going on the sea a little bit. So I gave Lena a uh, lightning rod for uh, lightning. I uh, gave uh, Gallop the healing staff, and I put... Uh, uh, Ferris in the front row to be more of a, a fighting character. Uh, so, switched some things around, gave her the elf cape so she's, uh, you know, in the front row. Because uh, she doesn't have as good as armor as uh, Angels does. So, I'm going to heal myself up here because I'm going to fight that Chimera enemy uh, here in the desert. So I can finally show it off. So just walk around a little bit here. And here we go. Now I get a little lucky here because the Chimera uh, normally uses a thing called um, Aqua Rake, which is a, a water spell, which is everybody for about 200 damage. So he uh, seems a little reluctant to use it though this time, so I got a little bit lucky. But unfortunately, uh, he does uh, hit pretty hard. So yeah, yeah, getting hit by it pretty much takes you down. So, but uh. If, uh, of course, if he uh, uses the Aqua Breath like two in a row, then uh, it takes everybody out in the party down. So this is why it was really important uh, when I was coming here last time, uh, when I was kind of weak. I didn't want to, uh, I wanted to avoid as many encounters as I could on this uh, sand area. Because this guy, he can be pretty tough. So, But he's a good uh, way if you have a blue mage. Like I said, if you want to get that... Uh, Aqua Wake spell, which is a blue magic spell, that'll really help you out, uh, because it's really powerful when your characters cast it too, because your characters tend to have better stats than the enemy's uh, stats are, so you can do a lot of damage, and uh, the Aqua Wake, uh, it hits all ca all enemies, so just like it hits all characters here, so it's really, really nice. So hey, we got some good experience and some uh, good ability points there from uh, that guy, so goal he's really tough to grind on, so... We need a lot of those ability points. As you can see, um, Lena, um, uh, Gallif, and Faris, they only need 999 ability points to max out the Red Mage job. So, it's going to be a while until that happens. So, it's a good thing that we didn't get that that bar job, but we'll be getting it soon. So, we're going to head back here to Karnak, where uh, Mid was going to go see his grandfather, Sid. Sell a bunch of this stuff off. We have a bunch of treasure that we got uh, from uh, all the different places. And we're going to need a lot of the uh, money because we're going to be getting up going to that uh, Jacol place where they were told that hey, they sell some really good armor and stuff there. So I'm going to want as much uh, increases to our uh, equipment as possible. So let's give it all the stuff that we can't use. That's one of the good things about that four job fiesta. It makes the game a little harder. But, uh, it, it makes sure you, like, you can sell a bunch of stuff that you'll know you'll never use. So since we can never use ninjas, we can give it all that ninja stuff, you know. Uh, we don't have dragoons, so we can get rid of, like, spears and stuff like that, so. Sid! He's still down. Did Mid come here? Sid, pull yourself together! I'm hopeless now, don't bother yourself with me. Grandpa! Mid! Ow, ow, hey, 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 Mid, stop that! He's beating up his grandpa! Grandpa, you idiot, you idiot, nothing can make you give up! Uh -oh. He's slapping some sense into his grandpa. Mid! You're the one who always said not to be afraid of failures. You're the one who always said that if you fall, then you should try to over again. Mid. Mid. You should just try it over again. Hmm. Mid, you're right. All right. Nothing like family to help you out of a funk. The Earth Crystal is still alive, but where is it? I have no idea, but we must find it and protect it. And in order to do that, the steamship. 
We must get the steamship to move, but we don't have the fire crystal's power anymore. Grandpa, take a look at this. It's the book from the ancient library. This book, hmm. Aha. Now that's an idea. Great work, Mid. Now I just need to put it in practice. Let's get to it right away. Yeah. So now they're going to uh, fix up the steamship so it doesn't need the fire uh, crystal to work. We'll be able to take it around and start sailing around. Of course, when we start sailing around, a lot of the enemies will be weak to lightning. That's why I gave uh, Lena the uh, lightning rod. And I think she's going to be the magic user because uh, she has good agility. So she's like one of the first pe people to go in battle. So she'll be able to hit uh, all the enemies real quick with that lightning spell to try to take them out. Um, Gallif is a, one of the slower characters. The only one slower is uh, Angels because Angels is a knight. Uh, but as the red mage, Gallif's the slowest red mage. So he has the healing rod so that if anybody gets hurt, uh, he can step in and heal them. Because if your healer goes first, then, uh, you know, you won't know, uh, you know, everyone will be hit, have, you know, full hit points, and uh, they won't have anyone to heal. They won't have a, a target to heal, so. By moving our healer back in the background a little bit, we can, uh, whatchamacallit, we can heal up during the middle of battle, so. Then we're just told to take a rest while they uh, fix up the steamship. We get a little bit of plot development here with Gallif. Gallif, what's wrong? I knew something wasn't right about you. What is it? Are you alright, Gallif? My head. I think I might have remembered something. And he's going back to uh, where. Uh, just a few minutes ago where his grandpa, his, uh, Sid's grandson came and helped him. And now he's having flashbacks to, uh, I guess, his granddaughter. I mean, this is the girl that appeared uh, at, uh, at the ship graveyard with Siren, but he didn't know who it was because he has that amnesia. But now apparently this, uh, seeing uh, Sid's grandson interacting with him, I guess it's opened up some floodgates. Look like they're very similar. Ouch, hey, Kara, stop that. So they have a uh, grandpa, you idiot. Hmm, so sounds like Kara and uh, Mid are very similar in their personalities and the way they treat their grandparents. And that opened up the memories of Gallif. Kara, Kara. Yeah, this is a different translation show. In the last uh, three fiestas I did, uh, it was spelled with a K. Gallif, what happened? Were you able to remember anything? I'm not a person of this world. Uh oh, he's an alien. I came here from a meteor from another world to prevent the return of an evil. An evil force that we sealed off in this world 30 years ago. An evil being that will return? Yes, the Dark Mage X-Death. Well, with a name like X-Death, you know he has to be a bad guy. There's another werewolf over there on the left. It's for sure this is where the power of the Four Crystals gather. Let's do it then. Let's use the power of the crystals and seal X death here. And we're going to learn all about those uh, those uh, other three people later on. And so there's those uh, four rocks uh, to the uh, near the wind shrine and tool. We can see them and uh, when there was all four of them where the crystals were operating, but now there's only one. I'd come to this world before in a meteor thirty years ago. If the local crystal shadow, then X death seal will be released. That's right. Gallif. I can't remember anything else. Uh, we can't let X death return. Especially if we don't have the crystals. Because the crystals have to seal them, so if we don't have crystals, how are we going to seal them again? I'm fine. Luckily, uh, Sid and Mid is doing a lot of good work, and they'll get this steamship up and running. 
And that'll allow us to travel around the world. Not as good as an airship, but hey, it works. Ah, slept well. Ah, slept well. <laughs> I'm copying Grandpa. We finished a ship that moves without wind. If we only had an airship. We'll search for the Earth Crystal using this boat. Yes, please do. We'll be at the Ancient Library. We just might find some clue there somewhere. So yeah, we want to head to the Ancient Library. Once we get the uh, ship, we have that map, remember, that you found in the ship's graveyard. So you just press the Y button and that brings up the map. If any cabins come to the Ancient Library, be careful. So we'll be stopping at the Ancient Library to get a little bit of a hint on uh, where we have to go. Because the game's kind of, uh, it doesn't really let you know where to go unless you go to the Ancient Library. I mean, you could look at your map and look at what new uh, destinations you can reach. Those uh, flashing lights on the uh, screen. So we're going to head to the Ancient Library. I make a little misstep here. I want to go to that uh, little uh, inlet there, but head a little south first. I forgot that you can't approach the Ancient Library from the, uh, from the bottom. There's mountains there. So we got these uh, thunder uh, emones there. They uh, they absorb uh, thunder, so uh, they're one of the few enemies that uh, won't get hit. That won't get take extra damage from thunder. They actually uh, get hit points from thunder. So we'll just concentrate the bolt on the Sahagan there, which is weak to lightning. And there's the thunder emones there. They actually, actually see it. They absorb lightning, which means they get hit points back. They don't have any weakness. They're just hit with either ice two or uh, bolt or uh, fire two. Either of the elemental spells will work. Or hit them with your sword and the the guardian knife. So we got some stuff to sell there. Like I said, that'll be important because there's gonna be some really good equipment down there. In the lower left corner uh, is where that Jacol uh, town is. With you know, so you can't the mountains block our way. So we're gonna have to go back up to that little inlet there and then head over to the ancient library. There we go. I want to get an encounter here in the in, in the uh, woods around the ancient library though. There's a, an enemy that we missed here. We'll be coming back to the ancient library quite a few times but might as well just get it right now because we're going to be heading into the ancient library to uh, talk with Sid and Mid and we can use that healing pot again. So The new enemy is the mythal dragon there. Uh, they have a technique called fusion. Uh, if there's multiple uh, mythal dragons around, they'll use it with each other. Basically, what it does is like uh, one of the mythal dragons will like sacrifice itself. Uh, say it has like 200 hit points left, uh, it'll give its 200 hit points to another one of the mythal dragons. It'll like fuse with it. So it's a magic spell you can use with your uh, blue mage. I think you have to control it though with the beast master. Uh, so it will use that or confuse it somehow. Like a thief's knife, the one dancing dagger. So we're back at the ancient library. Dr. Sid's come back. Sid and Mid, there's no such thing as a problem that they can't solve. There's no problem they can't solve. So, all right, well, we'll put their expertise to use. These people on the top floor all saying the same thing that they uh, said earlier. The only ones who've changed are those four guys running around on the first floor here. So you got those two there, and the other two are down there hanging out with uh, Sid and Mid. We'll talk with all of them. I'm Dr. Sid's assistant. I've been asked by Mid to find books that have information about some crescent-shaped island. So that's a clue of where we gotta go, some crescent-shaped island. I'm researching the whereabouts of the Earth Crystal, but nothing. I haven't found anything at all. Nothing. I haven't found anything at all. Hey, stop copying me. <laughs> There's something about this book about an island that's shaped like a crescent moon. Something about it doesn't feel right about it. Hmm. Maybe it's the crescent moon that uh, Mr. Tumnus went to visit in Star Tropics, Sea Island. Go check out that playthrough of Star Tropics and Star Tropics 2, Zelda's Revenge. Mr. Tumnus, in both episodes, uh, both games, he, he visits uh, Sea Island. Now, if you look over in the far lower right corner, there's an island that's shaped like a sea. It's a backwards sea, but. We want to go there. But first, we're going to head down to that uh, Jacol uh, place that someone in Karnak was mentioning about. Because there's some good stuff that we can get there. Got a cave there. We'll get the exit of that cave a little bit later. 
but we'll see the entrance to that cave uh, very shortly. Here's some bombs, like all uh, bomb enemies and other Final Fantasies, you want to try to take them out as quick as possible because uh, if they uh, they can explode on you and deal a lot of physical damage. So unfortunately, they don't have any weaknesses. Uh, normally, they're weak to fire, but so I'm just hitting them with fire as much as I can, soften them up. And no angels did that much damage. There we go. Should have just not concentrated a single fire targeting. So all right, took out those bombs. Got some pretty tough enemies around here. There's an entrance to a cave. There's some treasure in that cave. We won't be able to get most of the treasure because we let Lone Wolf out. But we're going to enter that cave in a little bit. But we don't have a lot of time in this episode, so instead I'm going to head down to uh, Jacol and make a save there. I'll be able to get some better equipment to uh, navigate that cave. There's a pretty tough enemy in it, so... So these guys, uh, bio soldiers, what they do is, uh, when you hit them with uh, damage, uh, what they do is they counter with the bio spell. And bio is a pretty powerful spell. So we want to put them to sleep so that uh, when we do hit them and give them damage, they, uh, they won't be able to counter. So we hit him with a physical attack, so that guy woke up. And unfortunately, my fire spell isn't enough to finish him off. Barely, you know, uh, just has a few hit points left. So yeah, we got unfortunately we got hit by that counter. Yeah, 540 hit points and uh, the spell did like 300 and the attack did like 200. So probably has less than like well, it has like less than 40 hit points left. But yeah, we don't like to take that bio thing. So yeah, if you have a chance to put him to sleep, put him to sleep. So that'll help you out avoid that encounter. So and what also help us out is going into Jakul to get more uh, equipment next time. Take care. Bye.